So 40 minute ferry boat ride later and 30 baht later, which works out about a pound, which I think is a bargain. Here I am, um, Panabarn port in Koh Lan, as called uh, Goh Lan, in, as the Thais call it. It's, uh, it's now 100,000 baht, which is about 25,000 pound fine if you uh, get caught smoking on the beach or dropping litter, which I think is absolutely fantastic. I just hope they back it up by putting bins, more bins around so people can actually throw their litter away. I can't stand people who uh, throw their litter on the beach and have no respect for it. It's like pissing in the drinking water, isn't it? For rent here. Uh, how much the motorbike for rent? 300 baht. 300 baht for the day. All day. Excellent. All day. Okay, well, I'll come back and have a look at it. Island. That's the island, yeah. I'm going to check out some of the beaches here. The wind, the man, the wind. So that's all the islands there, yeah. What's the islands called? Taiwan. The wind. Same. Same. Tian. Luan. Tai Yai. Okay, fantastic. So I'm going to find a map and I'll. So here I am in uh, Koh Lan. Uh, I'm heading for Nual Beach. Pretty much a left to come out for the ferry port. Loads of people around here. I've managed to get myself a motorbike. Three hundred baht. About seven pound fifty, give or take. That ain't too bad. Just a case of manoeuvring my way through all these people, trying to find some kind of direction as to where I'm going. As I've never been here before. But I love these little streets, more for walking and riding the bike. And this is Koh Lan and if you like my little videos please remember to uh, subscribe or hit a, give me a little cheeky thumbs up. Wow, it's paradise, it really is. I'm uh, blessed to be here. I'm not a religious man, but I will stick my head up and say a little thank you. Big man with a beard. For letting me be here. And I say I'm only here for a day. Well, we'll see how it goes. I don't know, it depends how big the island is. I can't get it all done in one day. I do also want to spend a bit of time swimming because the beaches are supposed to be fantastic here. Try and find somewhere to park up my little beast. So there you have it, wow, absolute paradise yet again. Water's beautiful and clear, a few rocks over there, I won't be going over there, I'll be sticking to my lovely little beach, look at that, absolutely clear water, nets around, so got any, any nasties getting through as well, wow, what a fantastic little beach. On that note, I'm getting my swimming things on and I'm gonna have a little dip. So goodbye Nuan Beach and hello Samay Beach in Kolani. Um, yeah, so far I've been thoroughly impressed. The, uh, the, the last beach, Nuan Beach, was absolutely amazing. I've got a little bit of a mission here because this looks like a bit of a lake going on. So, I've spotted this little stairway that goes all the way to the top, to the little hut at the top on uh, Summit, Summit Beach. Um, I wasn't going to do this because it's a bloody hot day. Coast Summit Beach. Well, there you have it in its absolute full glory. Um, fantastic, yet again, a fantastic little beach. And uh, I'll carry on my way up, go up the top, and guess what? Fantastic ocean view. And some May Beach. Look at that. Just absolute picturesque. Yeah, so on that note. 
I'm gonna head back down to the beach and have myself a cheeky little swim. Okay, so goodbye Same Beach and hello back here. I've decided to give my beaches a little bit of a grading. Um, and so far I'd say Nuan Beach is uh, basically, I'd give that, I'll give that a seven. Now we're, we're heading towards Tian Beach. And one thing I have suddenly realized is that it's excellent to try and find a spot which is under the shade to park the motorbike. Because otherwise, when it comes to sitting on it afterwards, it done half burn your backside. So I'm on Tien Beach in uh, Koh Lan. It's my third beach I've stopped on today. I've got to the stage where I'm actually really, really hungry and I think it's time to stop and get something to eat before I actually go for a swim. Um, this is the beach. Fantastic clear water, a uh, few people about, not too many, um, loads of deck chairs as usual, there are a few trees where you can plop yourself down if you wanted to without having to pay 100 baht for a deck chair. So I'm checking out this uh, cheeky little joint here, it's a little restaurant and uh, it's called the Tien Beach Restaurant, obviously in Tien on Koh Lani tells you exactly what it is, it's TN Beach Restaurant and because it's been about two weeks since I had one, do you know what, I'm going to go for the chicken green curry, Thai curry again, 150 baht uh, plus a soft drink, you're looking at 200 baht which is about fiver, five pound for a meal and a drink on a paradise beach, I don't think you can really go wrong with that, so basically what I've got already here is my green curry and my rice and these tend to taste different in different places you go so um, yeah, I'm going to sample this one and so in true Farang style I'm going to chuck my rice into it not all at once because that's just greedy but a little bit just to start off with so I can taste it and see what it tastes like got the usual things in it Red hot chilies, if you eat one of those, it's gonna be spicy. Some of this like spinach leaf stuff, I don't know what it is. Gal and gals, um, lime, fresh lime, fresh ginger, uh, lime leaves. Um, and that's pretty much the same old, same old that it normally has. And of course, chicken. It's got a creamy sort of uh, coconut, coconut texture. It is a very, very light soup, as you can see, very runny. Um, very watery soup. Taste wise, I'll tell you what, that is actually gorgeous. And the beautiful thing is, it's a hot day today. So, something like that is absolutely perfect because it's not too heavy, it's light, it's refreshing and definitely thumbs up on that one. It's a Thai beach, a lot. Yeah, there's not a lot I can say bad about this one. Nothing I can say bad about this one, it's actually gorgeous. Little deck chairs again with umbrellas, probably about 100 baht each. Um, little restaurant up here, toilet facilities, nice white sand, powdery sand as well, no pebbles. Um, some beds, 100 baht. So I thought I'd uh, stop off at the marketplace, uh, Tana, Tana Lan, Tana Ban, or whatever it's called, Tana Lan, the main bit of Koh Lan, and just check out what's going on. Uh, all kinds of interesting little things. These are like little fishies in a bag. Funny little clams, I don't know what you call them. That's what, that's what they look like. Um, I guess that's their answer to oysters. There you go, interesting, something different. Okay, Over here we've got Mr. KFC himself. I love you, Tidy Cap. That's pretty much your um, original KFC. All the star fry stuff. There's a bit of sushi going on here. Look, cheeky little things they are. Unfortunately for me, they're um, stuck out in the open too much. And uh, yeah, I don't want to end up putting a toilet paper in the fridge.
What else they got going on here? They got some little sausage things. Might even try some of them. All looks good. Some of these little kebab stick things. Again, all these things are absolutely fantastic for a little snack. You're feeling peckish before dinner. Fresh fruit there on a hot day like this. There is an absolute godsend. And here you've got some full fish cooking away on the grill. Looks like they've been salted. Salt baked. Fancy bit of that. And here we've got some squid. Freshly repaired, ready to go on the barbie. All on little sticks again. Squid on sticks. Crossing the fries off, that's what I like seeing. Here we've got our little favourite. Favourite contestants. They, um, cockroaches, grubs, snails. Oh, we've got some little prawns in them. They could be palatable. Generally speaking, insects. And uh, if it tickles your fancy, then you're welcome to it, because I won't be having none of that. We've got some funny little things going on here. Okay. Eggs. Yes, very nice. Thank you very much. I give you one. Okay, man. I'm going to try one, is it? Sweet coconut. Sweet coconut. I'm going to yeah. try this little sweet coconut thing, see how we get on with that. Mmm. You know what? That's actually very, very nice. Nice little snack. Cup and cup. Thank you. Ah. Wow. Amazing. So leaving Darwen Beach behind off Darwen Pier, I'm now heading towards a beach next door to it, which is called San Juan. Um, rookety old bridge going to it. Lovely little view. The harbour jobby going on here. Quite a few people. Looks like this is going to be a tiny little beach. But let's see what it's like when we get there. We have a mission today. Trying to get all the beaches in in one go. But I am slowly achieving it. Don't want to go swimming here because it's all full of rocks. So far, not too impressive. Don't really do rocks. I'm not a scuba diver. Unless, of course, I'm checking out some fish. Oh my god, just about to be run over by a rubbish bin. Rubbish collector. Well, at least they're collecting the rubbish. That's one good sign. Quite a few people here. Don't seem to be too many Brits. Maybe a lot of foreign people. All taking videos and pictures. Uh, big sign up here. Just one man beach, it says. Some sort of hieroglyphic light writing. And there it is. Oh, another rubbish trolley coming towards me. Again, as I say, at least they are collecting the rubbish. Makes it all worthwhile. Now this little beach, actually it's taken me by surprise because it's not what I expected. It's actually a lot better than what I expected. I'll quite happily sit up there and have a singer, have a beer. Um, cozy little beach, a few people on it. A bit, bit of human soup, but not really all that bad. And uh, yeah, they've got some um, little beach chairs here again if you wanted to it's normally about 100 baht ago if you're staying the day well, I'm not staying the day I'm actually only just visiting so I won't be paying out money for that not because I'm tight it's just that it's hardly worthwhile for half hour 